Hello friends, I am here to answer some questions that came up during the last Supernatural Social that I didn't get to. We have lots of questions and lots of conversation in those events. They're super fun. I hope to see you in an upcoming one. Um, but meanwhile, as promised, I wanted to give some extra answers. So these are sort of all over the place. The questions are coming from nutrition, um, herbs, uh, hormone balance, and some other fun stuff. So there's not really a theme here. It's just kind of things that you're wondering that I am going to answer. Uh, so the first one is, uh, where is a good place to start for adding supplements, powders, adaptogens into your diet? Um, and can you overdo it? So great question. I get this a lot. Um, and I'm a big fan of, you know, helping find a way to add these things into the, into your diet, into your lifestyle, um, in a way that is easy and realistic and tastes good. And, you know, that you're actually going to be able to, um, continue. It doesn't work if you can't, you know, use it and take it. Right. So, um, one of my favorite places to add, you know, herbs and supplements too is a smoothie. If you work with me directly, you, or if you've taken the Supernatural series, you know that a smoothie can be really foundational in terms of a daily, um, you know, nutritional support. So not only do you get all your fiber and you can get all of your day's greens and fruit and, and a ton of, you know, of that in their nutritional essentials, but you can also throw a bunch of herbs in there and, and not know the difference. So I love smoothie. Um, some herbs are more savory. And in that case, you could add them to salad dressings. You could add them to um, soups and broths. Um, pretty much any time you are making food or eating food that you bought or had delivered or that somebody made for you, and you can think about, you know, is there, is this a vehicle for me to get some of my, you know, get some more herbs in there? And it doesn't have to be, you know, nasty tasting, um, I don't know, bacopa powder, which I would not recommend. That's just an herb that doesn't taste good. So I went there, but don't, definitely don't try that at home. Um, it can be fresh herbs and spices. So using salt, maybe let's make it rosemary salt. Are you using a salad dressing? Maybe we should put medicinal mushrooms in the salad dressing. I have a recipe for that. You know, if you're doing pesto, can it be spirulina pesto? Also have a recipe for that. If you're making, you know, a glass of water, um, should we toss a tincture in it? Maybe. So those are some of the best ways to, uh, best places, you know, to add herbs and supplements. It's look at what you're already doing as opposed to trying to add a new thing on. And can you overdo it? Um, it's a little difficult to do, to be honest. <laughs> you know, it's possible to do, but I think you've got to try to do it um, or you have to be not following the guidance of your herbalist or your healthcare practitioner or the supplements that you're buying. You know, every supplement you buy is going to tell you how much to take. And if you're taking too much of it, then you're taking too much of it. But in terms of, can I have herbs all day long? Yes, you know, plant-based diet is, is herbs, essentially herbs all day long, you know, food medicines all day long. Um, next question, do you sprout chia and flax for your smoothie? Um, I don't, but I do love, you know, if you're gonna eat nuts and seeds, um, sprouted is ideal. Uh, chia and flax and like hemp hearts, which have actually been sort of hold already, they're so high value um, and so low sort of problems, so, so low um, cons, you know, you have pros and cons, they're just, they may be difficult to digest, they may contain some of those plant proteins that, you know, you hear about the, the phytates and the um, lectins, but you know, the value of what you're getting for that, like, trouble, it, it outweighs, you know, it outweighs the drawbacks. And we also don't sit there and, like, snack on chia seeds and flax seeds, right? We do a tablespoon or a couple of tablespoons in something we're eating, and that's usually it. 
you know, the most you might ever have is if you have a chia seed pudding. Whereas all these other nuts will, will eat way too many and will know it. And we'll eat them roasted and salted and we'll eat them, you know, nut butters like out of the jar or, you know, however, but we just don't do that with GN flax. So it doesn't become necessary to sprout them. Um, the other reason why it's not so necessary to sprout them is that, you know, when you throw them in your smoothie, they get really well ground up, also easier to digest. So quantity, quality, form. Um, but if you are eating nuts and seeds, sprouting is a really good idea. So is moderation. Um, one of the questions was, do I um, take herbs? I'm sorry, do I take herbs? Just kidding. One of the questions was, do I take supplements and vitamins? I definitely do. And I'm not going to go into it right now because I spent an hour going into it in an earlier uh, Supernatural Social, which if you're interested in, you can watch. So it's Quarantine Health and it's in the events section of my website and we recorded that social and we record all socials. So if you can't attend one, you can buy a ticket and get the recording and watch it later. Um, next question. Maybe the last one, just because I don't want to run out of time and we can do this again, like anytime. Um, do you cook with oil um, or what oil do you cook with if you don't cook with olive oil? So one of the conversations that we had been having in the social was, um, what about oils? You know, there, there are some food practices that um, advise against oil as a processed food, as a refined food. Um, and I don't actually have any beef with that. You know, it's, uh, it's, it's good information, but it's really hard to eat that way. And some oils are really great. So if you're on an oil free diet, more power to you, you don't need to change. Um, if you're curious about an oil free diet, you can definitely try it. I'm all for it. Um, I have tried it before. Uh, and I like it and I think oil, you know, we can have a lot less oil in our life, but really good quality olive oil, you know, and all the blue zones where people eat really good quality olive oil and lots of rosemary and other things, you know, it's hard to, it's hard to see that as a, um, health, uh, offense. So moderation again is important. Quality is very important. And you want to look at the smoke points on oil. And a lot of you know this already, but if you're cooking with oils, you know, you don't want to be cooking with an oil that can't withstand the smoke point. So if you're baking something at 450, make sure that you're not using an oil that's smoke point is, you know, 250. Um, so the question was, what do I use? Um, I use olive oil for like dressing and making, you know, blended soups or that kind of thing. If I'm cooking or baking at really high temperatures, I'll most often use coconut oil. Um, just depends. We also have avocado, avocado oil in the house. Um, and we have some toasted sesame oil, which definitely is just like for drizzling and stuff. So check the smoke point. Um, oh, ghee also. Ghee's great. Um, I actually haven't cooked with ghee in a really long time. And, but you know, that can be a good one if you need high temp for sure. Uh, and then another question, this will actually be the last one, um, is, what do you put in your herbal nightcap? <laughs> and some of you might have snagged versions of my herbal nightcap recipe from my stories and that sort of thing. Um, it does change over time, as you would imagine, always testing new herbs. And I always love my nightcap. It's one of my favorite recipes. Um, I'm not going to give it all to you now because I'm going to have an entire um, event on herbal mocktails. So morning, you know, elixirs, afternoon drinks, happy hour stuff, definitely a big focus there, and nightcaps at night. Um, if you're interested in how to make mocktails and how to blend, you know, herbs into drinks that taste good and look good and, you know, that you can take to a party or make it a party, um, please join me for that. It's on the 22nd of this month uh, in the events section on my website. Um, that should be really fun. And once again, those are all recorded. So if you can't attend live, then you can grab the recording. And I will continue to come back here and answer questions. 
um, that we didn't get to answer in the previous socials. And also, if you have questions now, just, just add them in the comments. You know, as you know, this is a conversation. It's a dialogue. So um, thanks for being here. Talk to you soon. <laughs> Bye.